Hi and welcome to the Belfry. This is the stunning 13th hold on the PJ course. My name is Chris Ryan and in this video we're looking at wrist set and we're going to discuss how much wrist set you should have into your backswing and as you work it towards your downswing. Now just before we get started, in the corner of the screen you should have the details for my social media accounts. So if you don't already then please go ahead and follow me on those. So I posted a uh, something on social media asking for your input on videos that you would like me to film uh, today and I got sort of a few comments relating to maybe how to set the wrists and, and how much wrist set we should have going back so I thought I'd do a response to that. So there are a couple of things or a couple of factors which are going to influence how much wrist set you can achieve. Those two things would be the grip and when I say the grip I'm talking about how the club is positioned through the hand. We would like to hold the golf club very much in the base of the fingers in the lead hand and that's going to give us the greatest range of motion in those wrists. Some golfers would tend to grip the golf club a little bit too much through the palm and those golfers are going to find that they've got limited movement in the wrist. So how we hold the golf club is really key in terms of how much wrist set we can achieve through the swing. The second thing would be just the range of motion that you have naturally in your wrist. Some golfers out there will have more range of motion than others. So there isn't really a one size fits all here. What we would like to do is establish a grip which is good, which allows us to generate the most amount of movement that we can. And then everyone's gonna have different ranges of motions and that's gonna be what their golf swing sort of falls into, if that makes sense. Now, what I would like to talk about maybe more specifically in this video is what we do in our golf swing to achieve that wrist set. So, if I just take my setup, I'm just going to make my half a back swing and stop. I'm just going to try and achieve what would be pretty close to a 90 degree angle between my lead arm and the golf club. Now, I said that most golf or each golfer is going to have different ranges of motion, provided the grip is fairly neutral. We would generally tend to see that most golfers can achieve a 90 degree look in their wrist angles. Now, if I try and increase that, I don't reckon I can get any more acute angle than that between my lead arm and the club. That's about as much wrist set as I can achieve. Now, what I could do is I could make this move. Now, what you'll see from the camera face on there is I've probably now achieved a more acute angle. I've created, let's say, more wrist set. Now, the way that I did that was I moved my lead wrist from what was a fairly flat position towards what we call an extended position or what you can maybe see as a more cupped position. That allowed me to get what visually looked like more wrist set. We know that when the wrist is in this extended position, we can generally achieve a little bit more angle in those wrists. However, I see lots and lots of golfers who really struggle with the ball flight, uh, the strike and the delivery of the golf club because the wrist is in this condition here. I would suggest I spend more time coaching golfers to the point where I'm trying to get them to feel like they're setting the wrists less in the backswing. When we try and set the wrists less in the backswing, it often helps us control the condition of this lead wrist. When I see golfers who are maybe trying to create more wrist set, I often see that materializing itself with a cupped or extended lead wrist, which will get them to the top to a point where they look like they've got more wrist set. And they often believe that that's going to help them on the way down because that's going to help them achieve more lag or more delay in the golf club and that's going to give them more speed and impact. It doesn't always work like that. So what I would really like you to do is take a look at the grip and just make sure that you've got the golf club nicely through the base of the fingers. And then what I would like you to do is make half a backswing when the lead arm is level with the ground and you feel like your lead wrist is flat. Now you'll see from the face on camera there, that's possibly given me slightly greater than 90 degrees. That's maybe slightly less wrist set than maybe what golfers are maybe trying to achieve. But that is what I need to be able to do in order to keep my wrist in its good position. I want you to certainly feel that when you get to the top of your goal swing, your lead wrist is pretty flat. That's gonna help you control the club face. The more 
you try and set the wrists, the more likely it is that the wrist will extend, the club face will open. And when the club face opens at the top, we are going to release the club excessively early, or we're going to try and find that the club moves out, club moves left at impact in an attempt to get that ball towards the fairway. So understanding how we set the wrists is key. Trying to achieve the most wrist set you can can be quite dangerous and can be quite detrimental to your goal swing and how you deliver the club at impact. So let's go ahead and hit one. I'm only going to hit this quite a short distance because as you can see the, the green keepers are out there cutting the fairways. So I'm going to go nice grip right in the base of the fingers and I'm just going to really feel that I make a nice wrist set but I don't let that lead wrist extend and that's going to help me hopefully achieve a pretty good back swing the club face is going to be under control and if the club face is under control I can create a downswing which is more desirable because I haven't got to make any compensations for a club face which is out of position. Right, let me just clip this one, literally only going to hit this, I'll make a half swing here and just clip this maybe some 60 or 70 yards. Okay, I'm pretty good there. So understanding the reset is very, very important. Too much wrist set can cause the club face to fall open and that can give you some issues later down by impact during the dousing. Hopefully that video has made sense and hopefully it's going to clear up a few things around wrist set and leave you in a better place to make some good decisions when you practice, move towards some more desirable positions and hit some better golf shots. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you did like it. Any comments you've got, you can post those in the boxes down below. And the last thing, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Loads more videos on there. Loads more being uploaded weekly. There is a link in the description box down below which will allow you to do just that. Thank you again for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon.